The situation is only urgent if we truly believe what the Bible says regarding the eternal destinies of both those who know Jesus and those who choose to reject him. Most of us live as if we're cruising along with a peacetime mentality, not recognizing that there is a war going on, a war for our hearts. During peacetime, luxuries become needs. We get consumed by fads and forget that if those around us reject Jesus, he eventually will say reluctantly, your will be done into eternity. You see, during times of war, everybody cuts back, strategizes and is on their guard. Like it or not, we're all involved. The stakes are so high and we cannot afford to snooze on our watch. As followers of Jesus, we believe in life before death, this side of the grave. When we invite him in, he brings meaning, purpose, freedom, healing, comfort, joy, and much more. So I recounted how the ten virgins were invited to the wedding banquet, and five were ready. Last five just weren't ready. And then the wedding party was late, but when they did arrive, the five that were ready were invited in, and it was a great party. But those five who were late had to rush off and buy some more oil, and when they finally arrived back, they banged on the door, which was shut by now, and they heard the most horrifying words you could possibly hear. I tell you the truth, I don't know you. The message was straightforward. There were three points. Jesus is coming. Nobody knows when. Are you ready? And it's easy to dance around or even ignore altogether the subject of hell, as many followers of Jesus do. But actually, Jesus Christ himself didn't have a problem with speaking about it. He was upfront in many settings because he knew it was of critical importance. So I just went ahead and asked, who wants to be ready?
Problem ya sekeli. Tamam çok var. Çok var. Sürenim The gospel is the greatest news in the world, but it only becomes good news once we have dealt with the bad news. And maybe you can only realize how good the good news is in light of how bad the bad news is. The concept of hell is so desperately bleak that we must be willing to be broken by it.